Now we want to test a synchronizing relay. We're going to go over here, we're going to hit our test list. We see synchronizer, so we click on synchronizer. Here we have the synchronizer configuration screen. We have four boxes. The first box we see is the device nameplate where we can set up system one and system two. And your options are to put in the face-to-face -face nominal voltage and the primary voltage and it will automatically generate the secondary values based upon the PT ratio or the VT ratio. Since we're defaulted to a 60 hertz system it automatically comes up 60 here. If we were on a 50 hertz system this would come up 50 hertz. And then you can click on where you want your VT connections. Uh, is it phase to ground? Is it phase to phase? Uh, you enter that value here. Down here we have the synchronizing characteristics. So we have the minimum frequency delta and the maximum frequency delta in millihertz. We have the maximum voltage and the minimum voltage, the maximum dead zone in millihertz. And then we also have the frequency tolerance, the voltage tolerance, and the phase tolerance. Over here we have the circuit breaker simulation. So if we want to simulate a circuit breaker, we click that button and we select yes and then we enter in the appropriate close and trip times of the circuit breaker. For this particular uh, demonstration we're just going to use the no. Down here we have the test parameters which we're going to apply our prefault level at 100%. We will inject the prefault and we got so you can select yes or no. And then you can also set up the voltage rate of change in volts per second. In this case we got 0.25 volts per second and the frequency rate of change which is uh, 0.002 hertz per second. With all the values entered you hit the green check button and it takes you over here to the test screen. So here's the characteristic for the relay we've defined. Now the user has several options available. We have quick test, we have dynamic points, point of origin which is similar to the dynamic points but it also includes the origin and if none of those particular feature needs you can click outside and inside the characteristic much like in the click on fault test and create your own test lines. For quick test it's going to draw four test lines. There's going to be two where it ramps the voltage and two where it ramps frequency. When you hit dynamic points it's going to create eight test points so you'll have the two delta voltage, the two delta frequency and then we'll have four dynamic test points where it's going to ramp both frequency and voltage at the same time. And like with the other test we can execute all tests by hitting the all test button. We can test the selected test by just hitting the play button or you can come over here and you can select uh, any one of these tests and delete it or run the test or run all remaining tests. And you hit run button and you'll see it applying the voltage. You can see the synchroscope rotating around and when the relay operates you got your test point. And it shows up as a green dot. It's within the characteristic of the relay itself. Uh, if we want to ramp, uh, for example, in this case we're going to ramp this particular test right here and you can see it's ramping the voltage changing and when it hits the operating characteristic you get your green test result. If it operates outside the characteristic well then it'll show up as a red X. Once you've completed all your tests you can then generate your test report and so we're going to come over here we'll click on the test report and we're going to review the report. So we see our test report uh, here the user would come in he would use the virtual keyboard to enter in the name of the substation, the asset number, job number, uh, information regarding the relay under test, CT and PT ratios, and then we can see the test settings, the uh, values that we entered earlier, and on page two of the test report we see our test results. At this point I can then save the result and then later on I can transfer it to a memory stick, take it over to my printer and print it out. To learn more simply go to the MEGA website and download the information for the Mega software.